Hello, everybody. Hello, Fook. This is more of me trying to convince you to buy an Oculus and play this game. I'm going to go into a solo bot battle. I'm going to go in easy so I have more time to explain things. But I'm going to show you... Mm, let's talk about the zone. The zone is what keeps players active. There's no hiding when you're playing this game. You can't sit back and hide in a corner until the very end because the zone's going to force you in and in and in and confront and in more until there's only one squad left standing. So let's go see what that does. So again, as you can see, that red line, that's the zone. Now, if you remember in the past video, Shaw was talking about mentioned how you would fry like bacon, just not as tasty. We're going to end that thought there. Um, if you're caught in the zone. And that is true. You do fry, but you don't instantly die. So this white border here is kind of the game board. This is where you want to be in. But what happens if you get caught out? There is a strategy of running through zone to get out of trouble but you don't want to stay in it too long so right now just let me get some shield up which is well basically shield once your shield is gone then they start taking out your health and then once that's zero you're dead so let me get some stuff backpacks three backpacks unlock it you start with three slots you can get three extra slots but you've got to get a backpack I've already got one so I've unlocked it once you have full shield you can't take more it won't let you bananas bananas give you back 50 instant health this will work shield the shield shaker Though not instant, you have to shake it. And as you see that line going up, once it's done, it gives you back 50 immediate shield. Versus sodas. Sodas are good. You can pop them, drink it. They're good for 20. So together, that would be two cans. That would be 40. Now, depending on your play style, some people like having the sodas. Some people like having the shakers. For this purpose, I'm just going to run with the shakers. So, everybody starts off with a knife. So you don't land barehanded. But there are swords. Swords let you move at, I believe it's 30% faster. Oh, sounds like we have company. Let's go say hi. Or not. Now I have the bot set on easy. They don't have any shield. They're at just health. I, I can sneeze on them at this point and they'll die. So. So here comes the zone. I have a banana which is worth 50 health. You can carry a max of them too. That gives you 100 health instantly. And I have the health version of the sodas, which again gives you 20 health that comes back slowly. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's the zone and I'm gonna run in it and watch, it takes from my health, not my shield. It's only taking one every, oh, barely even a second. So you can run in for a while. Now the trick about that, oh, how rude, I was explaining something. Now the trick, a tip I should say, a tip and a trick is, let's say you're pinned and you need to get away and the squad is looking for you. Pop a soap, jump in line, zone, and as you can see, the soda is healing you for more than what the zone is taking. So you can actually run here at the border of the zone for quite a while inside if you've got six. And the most sodas you can take are six. So you can run in there and be in there for a while. Now, it does start taking more and more damage. 
the longer you're in there or the further out it goes. So the further you get back into the zone, the more damage it will do to you. And at one point, the sodas just don't even help you. Oh, hear that jingle jangle? Bots here, bots here. Let's climb and get out of their way. He's right below me. Yep. Hear the frying? You can tell when there's somebody in zone next to you because you can hear them being what we call fried. That's actually useful when you're trying to track somebody who's doing the trick I just showed you. Oh. So the plane has dropped over there. He said planes. If you open up your map, you see that green treasure box? That's the drop and you want to get to it. What's interesting about this is I'm in zone, so I'm in the white square and he just dropped the treasure box outside of the zone but the red walls have not started moving in so I can go for that treasure or drop as we call it but if you look it says zone shrinking in 42 41 it's counting down I have 40 seconds to get over there before the walls start moving in but once they move in they move in a little slower so it's not an instant, oh my goodness gracious, I'm outside of zone, I'm going to fry it immediately. No, you got a little bit of time to get back in within the white walls. Gold guns. Let's see, what do I want to take? I'll take this one. I'll drop the sodas. I'll take this one. In a later video, I'll explain the difference between the one star, the two star, which is green, the three star, which is purple, and the gold, the four star weapons. Each type of weapon has a difference to them. So one has more damage where one just carries more ammo. Oh, they need more ammo. Oh, there they are. You see them fall out of the sky? Well, that was interesting. Oh! I have two enemies left. I have two bots down there. There's one. Oops. You can use the sword. The thing about the knife and the sword is they, also, they are the one weapon type that goes straight to health. They bypass any shield and take out people's health. I hope you found that informative, Fook. Come play this game! <laughs>